UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sample. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. The body snatcher. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, riding out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, Griffin, rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. Successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? He just misses there with the left. Whip his hips into that kick. Oh, huge block! Let me see that 
Just missed with the elbow there. And they separate. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Watch knees to the body. Beautiful straight punch there by Lee. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. His leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Look at the turtle in that kick. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Real sneaky body kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. Until he blocks it, you better keep throwing those body kicks. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Misses with the left hook. Caught the kick. Lee gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, that's a nice strike. Nice leg kick land. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Nice knee to the body there, finally. Lance with the right hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice body kick. throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Oh, he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. There continue to be openings there. He targeted it effectively earlier in the fight, and the defense hasn't prevented him from doing so. If it's not broken, no need to fix it. Beautiful strike. Ten seconds to go. Defense there, huge block for him. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to... Wow! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done.
he's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the... Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Nice strike. Just out of range with that left hook. And both guys really throwing with authority. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big kick lands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. <laughs> Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Nice one, two there. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, he might be out. <laughs> Looking to land the leg kick now. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, big head kick there. Huge block there. And he caught the kick. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Score that for you, man. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. He goes upstairs for an elbow. Twenty seconds to go, round two. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, yes, it is a lost guard in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Two rounds in the books. Right, what a round it was for him. A lot of head kicks landed. Scrambled eggs on the other side. We'll see if he can recover. He does a great job of hiding it. He gives you no tell. He doesn't show you when he's coming. That's why those kicks have continued to land, even though he's done it multiple times. All 
right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just plays so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Massive knee to the body oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent. Oh. 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 Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Big punch lands through the middle. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, collar tie. Big leg kick land. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body lands flush. He's going to have to make some adjustments oh! here moving forward. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh. 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 Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Can't take many of those. You got to check. Oh. Wow. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, big punch land. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. The left punch is true. Now the right hand. Oh, and he caught the kick. Blocked. Got clipped for the right hand. A oh, little single collar tie there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight and shows. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Seconds to go in the round. Just missing on the counter there. Beautiful body kick. Final seconds of round three. 
All right, single collar tie now. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in... Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart one guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at 50 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.